Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of XCOM Enemy Unknown. Uh, we have the Sky Ranger to go to a UFO crush it, which we absolutely, totally wrecked. And, uh, whoops, I didn't mean to actually remove him quite yet. Uh, what I actually want to do is I want to decrypt it, whatever he has on. Because unfortunately, it doesn't actually share between people. It's kind of dumb. I think it would, but it doesn't. Uh, we're actually bringing back... Oh, well, do we actually want to bring back Sousa? No, you know what? I, I just changed my mind on that. Because I was thinking that, you know, I have those pistols now. And I, I want to still capture an outsider. but Because that would be the only reason I'd really bring him. But to be honest, it's not necessary. We're, we're, we'll be okay. Actually, does uh, it just occurred to me. Does uh, Sousa have the laser rifle? No, he doesn't. Okay. Uh, so, we are bringing two arc throwers and yeah, pretty much all this. I see no reason to change anything but the laser pistols that everyone is carrying around with them. That's important. Now they have the best laser pistols in the game. It's like all green and glowy. Best excuse. Oops. No. I want him. Mr. Shiv always comes along. So now if they ever need to pistol, <laughs> they're, uh, they'll be okay. Why can't I leave this place? There we go. Okay, that's uh, pretty much everyone we want to bring along with us, so let's go. You know, is there a wrong way to play XCOM? Let's let's be honest here. As long as you're saving the world, you're playing it the right way. Has arrived. Get ready to deploy. Our AO is within the continental United States. Hey, let's land right on top of the UFO. Shall we? This is, this is very conveniently placed uh, terrain here. Yeah, we really are like landing right in front of the UFO. I think you'd be a bit farther away. This is Big Sky. What the Just fuck? The crash site. Strike one is in position to engage. Loud and clear, Big Sky. We'll monitor those readings from here. Strike one is authorized to assault the alien craft. Wait, what? what? Wait, Mr. Shiv, what the fuck? Okay, Mr. Shiv actually has Archangel armor on right now, and so does, uh, so does XXX Snipes 420. I, 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 I forgot to tell you I equipped it. Oh no, now he's dead back on the ground. Um, we are not moving everybody until everybody's absolutely in position. Fucking horrible. <laughs> I, I... I honestly, I quite honestly didn't want to be right in front of the frickin' UFO. <laughs> it's a very large UFO indeed. Yeah, I can't really go back any further. Uh... Why do I have the feeling this is not gonna go very well? Alright. Well then, let's go find him, shall we? Problem is, there's a whole bunch of like really good cover all all across this, this thing. Could be a supply ship of some kind, and the potential storage capacity is enormous. If the aliens are really attempting to bring in this much outside material, it can only mean they're ramping up the scale of the invasion. All right, both the heavies on the sides. So yeah, now we're getting supply ships, and supply ships are freaking awesome because they give us a lot of materials. Here we go. It begins. Hey there, Cyberdesk. Okay, well, goodbye there, Cyberdesk. 70, da 70 damage, so I can't one-shot them, it looks like. But, you know, I can two-shot them. I mean, my sniper can solo them. Oh, damn it, we blew up some shit. Can you open fire on him? Eh. You know, we, we, we don't have to use this weapon for this, but, you know, we're gonna do it anyways. Oh, we missed. Eh, yeah, he has a shot, too. 
Ah, uh, you guys suck at aiming. Actually, I should have used the plasma pistol. It has an aim bonus. Oh well, next time. I know, maybe it doesn't actually. I think I'm still researching that actually. Well, later. <laughs> Whatever. Alright, moving up slowly. Because, you know, those things are a really big threat to me. It's it's just one little thing. You know, I, I've done a, a supply ship mission like this, and it went both horribly and beautifully um, at the same time. But I'm mostly actually concerned about these because they're very large areas. Like this. Like, it's just kind of like, yeah. I don't know, the snipers will cover. Um, but yeah, like, I had everyone coming out like it was a crown car. Like, I've had that happen before in this game, but... They have the little lifts and everything. But we know they're there. Oh, here they... Wait, what? What were we even looking at? I don't even know. Well, let's uh, sprint these guys up. Okay, everyone's gonna overwatch. Huh. Well then, uh, I got nothing else really to do except uh, start sprinting my snipers up and possibly go take cover, like maybe around this thing. Because my snipers are no longer in a position to actually shoot back, so. As soon as I bring them up here, it's, it's, uh... Oh, there's nothing there. I just have to make sure everyone's kind of protected and cover and safe. This is, uh, the most empty supply ship I've ever been to, so... You know, I guess... Supplies are gonna come out of the, the closets any second now and just, uh, attack us. Okay. We have a pretty good angle up here, so let's go see what's up here. Oh, nothing up here. I'm both disappointed and slightly um, afraid. All right, we're gonna just dash all of them here. Uh, oh, this guy can't do anything. Well then. I guess we got nothing, not much else to do but just dash up here then. Oh, that is, it, it's a little bit destroyed here. And I, like, that's a lot of damage for what an EMP is doing. Can we even shoot over this? I don't even know. Oh, we'll just move back here. I guess we're going in there. By the way, I can't, I can't, the robots, I can't actually, um, uh, in case you were wondering, I, I, I'm not allowed to um, capture them, so there's certain enemies you're just not allowed to capture. Well, let's go see. What, well, you know, I'd rather actually kind of go through the big door. There's a nice big door here. It's a much better firing line than over there. So let's let's do that. Hopefully, not going to have to fast forward another part here. Uh, let's see. And we'll move this guy all the way in here. Oh, okay. I, I was a little worried that he'd like dash through there for some reason. I don't really know why. I've had that happen before. They, they take the least convenient route. Alright. Let's get my snappers on the walls here. Oh, oh, damn it. I, number five, apparently, for him is uh, throw, throw a grenade here. I didn't mean to do that. I don't like that noise. Okay. Oh, let's see what's behind the door. Just that, okay. Best shot ever. 
Those guys don't even know what hit them. Oh, whoa. Oh, wow. What? He's on top of the ship. Oh, I can kill- I can kill him. What the hell? Well, um... I'm worried, so we're gonna overwatch. Wait, what? He's down here now. Okay, yeah, he took a bit of damage there. Although similar to the other floating specimens, this one seems to have much heavier armor and weaponry. This does look like a substantial upgrade. <laughs> Alright. Well, we have one over there. Uh, I wonder if I can actually get him with a... Because I'm, I'm just thinking of just blowing these guys to hell. Right back here. Let's do that and ignore the other one. And he's going to blow them to hell as well. They both have heat, heat ammo. Actually, I probably should hit, hit, hit him with that one, too, actually. Whatever. Oh, wow. Okay, well, that's, um... Okay, I was kind of hoping to get uh, Mr. Shiv in there to do a bit of a... Well, he can't He can't even get up there to do, to do anything about that anyways. Okay, we can shoot him down, though. He can shoot. But he can shoot the ones in the back, though. At uh, 80%, though, that's that's a nice nice chance to hit. You know, this is actually brings up a good question. Am I actually able to do that um, if I switch to my? Is it a is it a better chance to hit? 75, and then with the regular rifle, it's so I don't actually have a bonus right now. Okay, we got them. And we do up to 10 damage. He's got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 health. Maybe I'll just shoot him with the pistol a little bit. Okay. Uh, I just want him to hunker down at this point. Oh, he can't do anything, actually. And we'll just end our turn. Because I want to I try and get down to him. And he's gonna actually chuck a grenade because everyone's kind of grouped up there. That's not good. Okay. We have a cyber disc right over there. Uh, let's see. He's actually not behind cover anymore. Here's a question. Can I actually get down there and stun him? I don't think I'll be able to, because I kind of have to, I, th I think I kind of have to be on the same level as he is, but, and I know there's a thing over there, so. I'm wondering what, what my best option here is. Can these guys actually shoot the other one? No. So, I, okay, I can bring someone over here. Let's do that. Oh, there's a lot of them. Okay, let me see if he can actually stun right now. No, he can't. So while he's in the air, I can't stun him. That's uh, interesting to note. Uh, we'll just, uh, you know, we'll just headshot him. He's he's coming down this turn. Chance to hit on this one. 85. Yeah, we'll take him down first. I I kind of wanted to capture him, but it's not worth it at this point. Everyone's kind of out of position at this point in time. Let's get rid of these cyber discs. All right. Uh, let's see. You have a shot. 64, 60. Kind of wondering if I can get a suppression shot off here. Yes, I can. 
I, I don't really understand how, but yeah. I'll take it. This doesn't count as cover. <laughs> I don't know how that isn't cover right here, but uh, I guess we're not going to take that chance. All right, now we got now we got an opening for uh, for shooting them basically. Actually, should have opened off with suppression. Now that I think about it. Uh, that's one. This guy didn't even get hit at all. Oh, he's not gonna be able to do much. So, and I can't suppress him anymore. That's great. Because uh, it had to be the other one. And I don't know where this guy came from, but, uh, hello. Oh, he must have flew in from above. I just realized that the ceiling has a huge opening in it. Oh, that's unfortunate. He took a bit of damage there. Not really a substantial amount, though. No, it was a crit. These guys are fucking dicks. I had enough of these. Seventy-five. Uh, whatever. I'll take it. <laughs> yeah, have we had enough of the flying shit? I think. I think there's gonna be more up at the top here. We don't actually see it, so let's let's just heal up a little bit. Post commentary. So we're just healing up, and we're gonna move up and uh, attack once again. Uh, grenade kind of hurt. Uh, a lot of people took a little bit of damage here. Uh, but yeah. Uh, you know, at this point, you probably should assume that I've killed most of them because at this point, it's kind of like. We, we, we killed like a truck ton of them, basically, like coming in. But you know, it still is Iron Man, and it still is something I just want to be a little bit. Because I'm at the point where I have a team I really like, so I want to keep them going. Even though I'm going to be probably replacing them really soon because. Uh, you know, if you level up new soldiers, they'll have higher will, and then that really works into your favor a little bit later. And you know, in Iron Man, I can't pass that up. I really can't, so... That's why I'm not gonna pass it up. So, uh, Sniper's moving up a little bit to the side there. And you can see it's basically like a supply ship, like, it, that's obviously what it is, but... Um, you know, we, we don't really know where the rest of them are, so... I, I'm assuming they're in the cockpit, but, you know, we, we don't really know, so... So we have to go as slowly as humanly possible and uh, let Mike do post editing later. Now I kind of stopped talking throughout actually this because I'm just like, I'm actually doing it more as of late because I'm just like, I don't really want to put you through five minutes of this kind of shit. So, uh, you know, if, if, if stuff happens within at least a minute or something, maybe I'll, uh, I'll usually keep it in. But if not, then no, just uh, editing magic away. Maybe eventually I'll stop doing this post commentary. Just like put like montage music. Live to win. Okay, let's go back. Alright, I'm pretty certain they're in here, so let's have a look. Alright. <laughs> it really wants to give me this one. I'm not gonna lie. I, I, you know, I, I want to have this one too. Okay, we, like... There's no way we shouldn't have this one right now, because we, we just, we got the upgrade 80% chance. Come on, Mr. Ship, we got two chances with this. Stun failed, alright. Well... It's a good thing that we have a second backup. Triple Strike is a very reliable backup. I like him a lot. He's a fabulous individual. Go ahead. Excellent work. We'll begin analyzing this new artifact as soon as you return. Thank you. Excellent work. All objectives complete. <laughs> uh, thank goodness that didn't uh, go go south. You know, like I, <laughs> I actually thought it would. <laughs> I thought I would have to kill him again and do another fucking mission. Well then, let's get back to XCOM headquarters. Have a coffee and uh, let's check out this uh, guy right here. Is that all that's left of the specimen we attempted to capture? Yes. I believe we may have found the source of the strange readings we picked up when we first encountered it. What is it, Doctor? We're not exactly sure. It's organic in nature, yet highly magnetized, and it appears to resonate very faintly within a specific electromagnetic spectrum. It is currently unclear how or... Perhaps that's because this is outside your field of expertise, Doctor. If what you're saying is true, this object is an antenna. 
One that's receiving a signal. That signal? Can we trace it? No. At least not yet. We would first need to determine its encryption algorithm. My team can handle that. In that case, I will focus on constructing an interface between this object and our global communications array, which we'll need to trace the signal. Then it looks like researching this crystal should be our top priority. But I want heavy weapons. Oh, we got a uh, SGD Dan is wounded and so is Volkov. That's okay. So we have, um, oh, that's actually not okay because that's both my snipers. Hopefully we don't get anything else today. So we got like uh, light plasma rifle, some corpses, weapon fragments, shards, and some damage shit, so. Thanks to the aliens, our engineering team has managed to negate billions of dollars in traditional aerospace development with a single ship. Uh, okay, so let's go sell some of this crap. Uh, anything else here? Alien surgery, we don't need. Alien stasis tank, we don't need. We have a lot of shit here. And outsider shard, we can't sell. Okay, naturally we can't. Uh, let's see. We- the new engineers arrived this morning, Commander. We're always glad to have more help down here. I'm still trying to work towards that thing, because I'm going to need the power soon. Uh, Actually, we want to research, so never mind. Um, so let's see, heavy floater. Well, actually, we'll do it. Uh, well, actually, let's do heavy floater first. Another variation on a previously identified specimen. This is the heavy floater. As you can see, the aliens have made substantial improvements to the armor and weapons systems available, while removing some of its exposed vulnerabilities. An extremely dangerous combatant. You know, it just occurred to me, I wasn't actually researching heavy weapons, which means I probably have it, I just didn't equip it for the last mission. Oh well, whatever, my glad everyone, etc. Okay, we have an advanced repair project, but we're gonna do Outsider Shard first. Uh, it's gonna take like two days, surprisingly. Um, we can get, you know, stealth satellites and some other shit, but we're gonna, not really gonna worry about that. What do we have in terms of facilities? So I was thinking of getting another workshop thing, like, Thing over here and then you know I don't really need anything else here so maybe laboratories here I don't fucking know I should have I should have enough power all right improved pistol is complete so now we have the accuracy bonus that we wanted eagle over these coordinates yes recon satellite delta 2 is just coming into line of sight now sir coming on screen nothing no that's impossible i know it's there switch to thermal hello give me subsurface gotcha reestablished comms problem Think of what we might find once we get inside that facility. Imagine what they might be doing down there. I'm sure we'll find out soon enough. Okay, we found it. Now how do we get inside? I thought you'd never ask. Alright, we got that one. The methods involved in creating these crystals an organic machine capable of complex communications. We could spend years studying this technology. Yeah, so here's the, a lot of text here. It actually has a scroll bar. Okay, so we can, now we can make it a skeleton key. Um, kind of want an alloy cannon though. I mean, I how many weapon fragments do I have? The aliens might be doing in an underground facility. There must be some way to get into that base. I wonder what Dr. Shen has in mind. Okay, I don't need an alloy cannon right now. I don't need anything right now. I've got right a now. hunch as to how we might get into that facility. Just give the word, and I'll begin manufacturing the key immediately. Uh... Both my snipers were wounded. Let me wait for them to come back out. Okay. Uh, let's go make the key then. 
Ah, and there you go, 14 bucks. That's it. Wouldn't cost very much. Not very much in the slightest. Uh, scatter laser, yeah, we don't need any of this crap. The potential applications for this sort of tech would have been limitless if the aliens had only come in peace. Well, we can now do the alien base assault. Yep, I think we're ready. They're, apparently they're in Africa with us, so... Well, uh, we're gonna be doing this for next time. Exciting, isn't it? I, that's why I leave it on cliffhangers. So remember, we will be watching.